Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming. I'm HBFT and we are here to go over installing custom voice packs for Battletech. I recently created a voice pack as a gift to the Bunny League and I will be using that for all of the installation examples here. There are three parts to this video. One, what do you need in order to run a custom voice pack in Battletech? Two, the installation process for Battletech Advanced 3062 and Rogue Tech. And three, the installation process for Vanilla Battletech even though this should work for other overhaul mods as well, I haven't really tested the compatibility thoroughly, so take that as you will. I will leave timestamps in the description down below so you can jump ahead to wherever it is that you want to go. All right, let's get started. A Battletech custom voice pack consists of three files. The bank file, the sound bank JSON, and the voice pack JSON. In order to run your custom voice pack, one will also need a copy of the latest releases of K-Mission's custom bundle, and Ice Raptors mod tech. If you're installing a custom voice pack for Battletech Advanced or Rogue Tech, the process is relatively straightforward because BTA and RT both have custom voice packs already installed, such as the Smokey and Dire Elias Defexes pack and the incredibly entertaining Grandpa Tech's pack. So overall, you pretty much just have to move over your bank file, your sound bank JSON, and your voice pack JSON, and launch your game. First, you'll want to unzip your custom voice pack. Then you'll want to navigate to your Mods Custom Voices folder. If you've never been there before, you'll need to manually get there by finding wherever your Steam application is installed. In my case, it's installed on the E drive. You'll go to Steam, then Steam Apps, then Common, then Battletech, and finally Mods. If you scroll down, you'll find Custom Voices. And it's in here that you'll want to go ahead and move over the bank file and the sound bank JSON into your sound banks folder. After that, you'll want to come on back and move over your voice pack JSON into your voice pack folder. At this point, you're good to go. All you need to do is go over to your launcher and launch Battletech. Bunny here. Good to go, boss. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Time to give him the Thunder Bunny. <laughs> they even trying? The installation process for Vanilla Battletech is a little more involved as K-Mission's Custom Bundle and Ice Raptor's Montech are probably not already installed on your PC. As such, in addition to the voice pack files, you'll probably want to download their latest releases first. For your convenience, I've gone ahead and have provided links to each modder's release pages in the description down below. We'll start from the beginning. Let's install it together. First, you'll want to select your custom voice pack and unzip it. Then you'll want to download both the latest custom bundle from K-Mission and ModTech from Ice Raptor. At the time of this recording, we are using custom bundle version 0.3.12 and ModTech version 0.8.0.0. Then you'll want to unzip both your ModTech and custom bundle downloads. At this point, you'll want to create a mods folder in your Battletech installation. If you've never done this before, you may have to navigate to it manually. In this case, you'll want to go to wherever your Steam app is located. In my case, it's on my E drive. You'll go ahead and select Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then Battletech. Go ahead and create a new folder called Mods. Once you're inside the Mods folder, go ahead and copy over your Mod Tech folder. And then inside Custom Bundle, you'll want to copy over both Custom Voices and Custom Localization. 
Now go ahead and move into your custom voices folder. Now move over both the sound banks and voice packs folders. Once you've done this, then go back and overwrite the mod JSON with the one provided. The mod JSON provided just tells custom voices to reference the sound banks and voice packs folders that you've just moved over. Now go back a step, go to the mod tech folder and select inject mod tech. You may have to do this as an administrator and the first time that you run it, you may get a warning. If you trust Ice Raptor, and I do, then go ahead and run it anyway. Now run Battletech and select your voice pack. You should be good to go. Now you can go into your game, select your pilot, and change their voice accordingly. Bunny here. Man, I hate the desert. Little granules of sand get everywhere. It's so difficult to get out of the cockpit. Next thing you know, you're chafing in different... I'm flying, buddies! I'm flying! I'm gun! 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 <laughs> Sucks to be that guy! <laughs> Kick to the shin, punch to the face. Hopefully you found this to be helpful. I'm looking forward to making more voice packs in the future. And if you'd like to stay abreast of all of that, please feel free to join the Bunny League Discord. Once again, all the information that you'll need is down below. I have a ton of fun making them and I hope you enjoy them too.